Hi everybody, my name is Mary Rorick. I'm a fourth grade teacher in New Salem, North Dakota, and today I'm going to be sharing a resource with you called Goose Chase. So Goose Chase is educational scavenger hunts. It's a really fun way for you to blend scavenger hunts with technology in order to create a fun and engaging learning experience for your students. So it's completely free. All you have to do is make an account and I'll show you kind of step by step how you can create a Goose Chase of your own. So this Thanksgiving math hunt was a goose chase I had done just last week with my class. Um, it was kind of a combination of Thanksgiving and math stuff. So I'll just kind of use this as my example for today. So goose chase is super user friendly. It takes you through step by step everything that you need to do in order to create your scavenger hunt. So you can select an image, give it a name and a short description about what your goose chase entails. And then if you go over to missions, this is your mission list. So it's all of the questions or activities that you want your students to accomplish throughout the scavenger hunt. So like I had mentioned earlier, um, I had done a Thanksgiving math hunt. So I did some missions that were more geared towards uh, Thanksgiving, some that were more geared towards math. So this was a little bit more of a fun and goofy goose chase that I did with my class just because it was right before Thanksgiving break. It was just a little something to get us up and moving and to have some fun in the classroom. So there's three different types of missions that you can add to your scavenger hunts. There are photo and video, text, and GPS missions. Um, so I'll show you just kind of what that looks like here. If you just click it, it adds it right into your list. You can give it a name, a short description of what you want your students to accomplish, and then you can also allocate points to each mission so that when students complete it or they get the question correct, then they're awarded the points. You can also control how the students participate in the scavenger hunt. With the free version of Goose Chase, you can have up to five teams or up to 25 individual players participating at a time. I would highly recommend pre-creating your teams. It just seems to make things go a little bit more smoothly once you actually get to adding your students in and having them join the scavenger hunt. You can also set a duration for your goose chase so you can automatically have it set for a date and time where it will start or you can just manually start and stop it yourself. So you can have the duration set for 30 minutes, 3 hours, 20 days, 100 days, either way Goose Chase will accept it. So it's also kind of nice because you can decide how long the game will run for. Um, I'll show you here what it looks like from the student side of things. So students will have to download the Goose Chase app in order to participate in the scavenger hunt and when they do this is what it will look like on the home page. Um, I would suggest just having them play as a guest that way they don't have to create accounts and then it will take them here where they can join the game so all they have to do is enter a game code and each time you create a goose chase it gives you a specific game code for that scavenger hunt so like mine is right down here so then I would just have my students type that in and it will show the scavenger hunt here they just join it select their team and then it takes them to the missions list so this would have um, had all of the missions here but this was a scavenger hunt I had already done with my students so I just deleted one quick so you could see uh, what it looks like but normally it would have all of the missions listed here for the students to complete and then once they've submitted a photo a video or a text answer whatever your mission was it'll pop over onto the completed side so then you can see exactly what was submitted and how many points were awarded for that question so if we go back to the teacher side of things um, there's an activity feed where you can see exactly what has been submitted by each team. So all of the pictures, the videos, the text answers will all pop in here so you can see exactly what your students are up to. If for any reason there is something inappropriate, you can just click here and delete it. So I'll give you guys an example here. Um, let's see, this is a good one. So like I had mentioned before, just kind of a goofy way to get your students up and moving. That was our turkey trot. Uh, you also have a leaderboard. You can see how your students are doing. And then one other really cool part of Goose Chase is the submissions hub. This is one of my favorite parts 
of the scavenger hunt because it shows you again all of the posts that have been submitted the pictures the word answers and then you can take those submissions and actually download them directly to your computer so you can group them by team mission or just one big folder and it'll save it directly to your computer so then if you do anything like class dojo or seesaw or have a class facebook group then you can take these submissions and actually post them so that parents can see what you've been doing as well so i think that's really cool that we're able to share um, the submissions as well. One other thing that I want to show you guys really quick is just the game library. So if you go into the game library, you can see all of the pre-made um, goose chases that are available for you to use. All you have to do is view and copy the game into your account and it'll be there for you to use. You can edit them, um, you can add other missions to it, you can kind of tweak it to what works best for your classroom. But I mean, this just really shows you all of the different things that you can do with Goose Chase. And that's one of the things that I really like about this resource is that no matter what the skill or standard or subject that you are teaching in your classroom at the time, you can really tweak and cater your Goose Chase to be exactly what you need it to be in your classroom. If you're working on area and perimeter, you can do a Goose Chase all about that. I mean, you can do biology or science and social studies. You can really cater it to be or to work for any subject that you might be teaching. Um, I also really like the idea of using Goose Chase on a field trip. I think that would be something really cool to do as well. Um, so I mean, there's just so many different things that you can do with this resource, coding, book reports, um, things for the holiday, classroom expectations. I just love how versatile this resource is. So just something really fun and engaging, something a little out of the box that will get your students up and moving and fully engaged in their learning. So thank you guys so much for listening. I hope that this is something that you will try and implement in your own classroom.